In this video, we will learn how to connect your Android OSC device to your Blender version 3. Okay, right off the bat, welcome to this new video. We're going to be exploring this with the Blender 3 version. Please be aware of this. The next thing you're going to do is to come to the Add Routes webpage and click here what it says, here's the link. You're going to download the Add Routes add-on for Blender 3. Okay, don't forget to donate because that will keep the ball rolling and we need further development for Blender 3.2 Plus. Then you will actually go and install it into the add-ons preferences and this part of the configuration is very important. In the OSC system settings, you want to check the 9001 input port and the destination number IP that you're going to put here is going to be your network address. So you right click over Windows button and then select Windows PowerShell. Type IP config and then you're going to look for the IPv4 network address which starts usually with a 192 dot something. Okay, that's the address that you want to write right here. This is the PC network address. And if you come here to the OSC tab where it says the OSC configuration, make sure that that port is checked and also please activate debug because this will allow Blender to receive and give you the log for the OSC commands you're going to get in the system console. You can skip this section if you already have experience with OSC, but if you don't and if you have problems with your PC connection, this is art some of the things that you need to definitely check. And one of the things that I really encourage you to really take a look at is your Blender list through your firewall uh, settings in Windows 10. In this case, you can come here into the properties, make sure that you're checking the right Blender version. In, in our case, it's Blender 3. And that all local ports are available for the connections with Blender. Okay, this is very important. Now you can deactivate or activate rules for the firewall. Please put pause on the video and check out exactly what I'm doing with the mouse here where I enable the rule uh, or where you create a new rule or where you see the properties and activate with the right click active permissions for the firewall settings because it's really important that Blender has all the permissions through the firewall through Windows firewall for this to work. Okay, so all of this checklist that you have right here, please put pause, check it out, do it step by step. You should not have any troubles. All right, let's set up the Android phone now. I'm using a Motorola Z4 Android phone and I'm going to go into the Play Store and then I'm going to look for Multisense OSC. And what this is going to do, it's going to transform my entire device to use its gyroscope, its uh, directional orientations and stuff like that. So once you install that, you want to put the host IP address exactly the same that you copy it from your IP before network address of your PC or your laptop. And once you're in there, you want to drop down this orientation menu that you have right here and you want to modify your addresses OSC. Once you click modify your addresses OSC, you want to shorten this long name into jaw, pitch, and roll, which are the variables to be sent as OSC commands to Blender. And then make sure that orientation is turned on. Click on offset once your phone is resting on your table or your desktop rather. And you want to visit my blog to read more information about which parameters and which variables do what kind of thing inside this application. Okay, for now, let's just switch this application on and it will start transmitting OSC commands to Blender. You can see it right here for the orientation on the three parameters previously that we spoke, which are jaw, pitch, and roll. And all of these represent an axis inside Blender. Okay, so now you want to test if Blender is receiving by coming into the system console and you will see the OSC commands, but they say they have no matching route, but we're going to create our first OSC route. So scroll down to the next tab and open where it says project routes. Here is where we're going to start creating our new parameters and variables to receive the OSC command. So you can come here into rotation X, right click on it, create new route. And this is going to automatically add the object, the parameters necessary to command this. I want you to switch the engine from MIDI to OSC. In this case, 
so we can start receiving from the Android phone. And the address is not going to be Blender. No, we're going to input or we're going to give it the parameters from roll, forward slash roll. Please notice that. And then from zero to N1. From zero, it's going to take you from 0x, white 1, and z represents 2. And down here, where it says action, you're going to click receive. And as soon as you do that, you're going to notice that rotation is going to start receiving whatever you're sending from the phone. And multi-sense, as you can see right here on my phone, whenever I turn it in a screwdriver motion towards the screen, I'm going to see Suzanne roll in the X axis and you can see it right here you have a, almost a 180 degrees that it's receiving perfectly from the phone towards the blender scene isn't that amazing this is fantastic you can continue to create other channels as well so now let's modify this and please notice that this is a forward roll it's set on receive and this is route zero you can continue to add more routes but in my case, I'm going to be switching this to forward slash jaw. And now you can see that I turn my phone as if it was a spinning disc. And then you can see it's turning. Fantastic. That concludes our baby steps tutorials for OSC and Blender. Now I really want to give a shout out to these two amazing Blender artists that are in the community contributing to more OSC advanced stuff like the real physics that you can see right here on your left and the facial mockup that it's working with OSCs and face it. It's been seven long years since I stopped working with OSC commands and soft image for my last time and now we're back fully into OSC with Blender and I cannot wait to show you how many awesome wonderful things you can create with that. All right, let me ask you something. Have you tried Blender? Try Blender. Blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible.